Hello, I'm Kyle Wolver, the Director of Logistics here at Superior Air Ground Ambulance Service. Today we're excited to bring you a new decontamination process called NDC. I want to start off by thanking the Vernon Hills crew members who actually suggested this product to us, and I want to encourage all crew members to anytime you have a suggestion, please bring it forward so we can uh, take it under advisement. I want to go over the PPE requirements for this new product. So when dealing with it, you always want to make sure you have gloves and some sort of eye protection. We do have new bottles for this. You'll see it says NDC on the bottle. It's a green bottle. Please make sure you're using this bottle as it has all the safety markings on it. You're going to start seeing these bottle filling stations at your station. If you do not already, one will be coming. Make sure you're utilizing this one. There's two settings. There's one for bottle. There's one for mop. You can see them right here on the head of uh, the buttons. What we're going to do is at the start of your shift, you want to take your bottle, bring it over to the bottle filling station, and just push the button, filling the bottle entirely with the product. If your product gets low in this big barrel, please reach out to your station manager and let them know so they can get your new bottle order. It's as simple as that. Unlike brew tab, this does not have tablets. You're always going to fill it out of the station and you're ready to go. It's important to note that NDC is going to be replacing brew tab. Once you guys have the fill stations, the bottles, and the training, you guys are more than welcome to move forward with the product. Little um, few things that are different for this product, this is a 10 minute kill where brew tab was much faster. What that means is this product has to stay on the surface that you're trying to kill for 10 minutes. The other difference is this will kill everything brew tab killed minus C. diff. So if you get a C. diff patient, you have to take different precautions. How you utilize the product is you just take it in the bottle, you spray it on, Again, 10 minute kill. That means this surface has to stay, stay wet for 10 minutes. You're going to spray it all over the back of the ambulance. For demo purposes, I'm just going to spray this back door. But whether it's a Medicar, whether it's an ambulance, whatever the piece of equipment is, keep that wet for 10 minutes. Once 10 minutes is up, you can do two things. You can take a rag and you can wipe this down. Or after 10 minutes, you can let that evaporate off. Um, a nice benefit to this product is it actually has a very nice scent, um, which will help um, as opposed to, again, the brew tab was very chlorine smelling. This is not. This has a very nice scent. Same thing when dealing with a piece of equipment like a stretcher or a wheelchair. Take the same product. You're going to spray it on your piece of equipment. It's important to note again, 10 minutes. You want this product to stay wet for 10 minutes. For demo purposes, I'm not going to. But again, you can either take a towel, you can wipe that off after the 10 minutes, or you can let it evaporate off. It's as simple as that. As always, we want to say thank you for everything you guys are doing out in the field. If you have any questions, please reach out to a member of management and enjoy this new product.